Hi, it's Dwyer, GamblersAdvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Let's talk about Daniel Cormier's victory over Stipe for the heavyweight title in MMA. Let me just say, uh, Cormier is simply put, one of the dominant athletes of our time. I'm a boxing person. I'm a bit of a fish out of water when it comes to MMA. But I did think this line was an interesting one where you got Cormier at a plus 180 before the fight, right? Let me just say he delivered. I didn't make a pre-fight video. He delivered. And the way he did is worth the view from every boxing fan. Let me just say, we talk about fighters who can fight inside in boxing. We talk about guys who know how to set it up deep in the pocket. I mean deep in the pocket. And Cormier's move here at the end of this fight is just as good as it gets. He's fighting a much bigger man. He's fighting the heavyweight champ, Stipe, right? Cormier, the smaller man. And understand, it's not the height of the guy. It's how the guy uses his height. Cormier understands that he needs to get inside. In fact, common wisdom before this fight was that Stipe had better boxing skills than Cormier. I find that hard to believe. Cormier gets inside of Stipe. And it's spectacular because he puts his left hand up against Stipe's neck, right? So he has Stipe a little off-balanced, right? Stipe's off-balanced. He has his equilibrium pushed off at the side. Then Cormier slides that left hand over to tie up Stipe's right hand. I mean, it, it's so well done, it's hard to convey here. He ties up Stipe's right hand. Then he comes in with a tight. Folks, I'm talking about very tight. I'm talking about so tight, in real time, I thought he hit Stipe with an elbow. Right? Which is allowed in MMA. He didn't. He actually hits him with a very tight. No more than this far off his body. Right hand that Stipe cannot block. Because he's been contorted, having his neck pushed one way, having his right hand tied up. Stipe is naked. Let me also say too, at such close quarters, I'm talking about the fighters are no more than this far apart, right? And even the spacing is dictated by Cormier, who bumps Stipe to get the space. The fighters are so close, but yet Cormier, like a master that deep in the pocket, gets maximum leverage on the punch. Stipe goes down. Folks, for all intents and purposes, this fight is over at that point. Cormier gets on top of him, throws some more shots, but it's clear Stipe is not able to protect his title. He's defenseless. As I saw this, I thought about one fighter in particular, Omar Chavez. Right? It looks like he's just pushing guys in fights. It looks like when he gets inside on someone like Robert the Ghost Guerrero, it's just a brawl. It's not. If you're a guy who knows how to fight deep in the pocket, where you're bumping against the guy, right? Hands are getting tangled. One guy has his forearm on the other guy's neck. As in this Cormier fight, when you're that deep in the pocket and you're able to set up tight punches where you can catch the guy naked and you have maximum leverage behind the punch. In other words, 
you know how to load up on shots where you aren't extending your arm at all, right? Cormier literally just comes over like this. The punch is this close to his body. That's the punch that ends the fight. Stipe gets hit with it. It's like a Mack truck, right? It's, you know, just imagine if Deontay Wilder was able to get the force of his right hand in a punch this close to his body where he just turns it over after setting it up by using this hand to lean on the guy's neck and then to take out his other hand right kudos to Cormier this tape is worth keeping let me also say too just some other things they get in clinches in this and Cormier is so skilled that he doesn't even have to be the alpha in the clinch. He can be the beta, right? He can have the other guy tying him up. And he knows how to stand and position himself in such a way that the other guy's legs can't kick him in the groin. In other words, Cormier is a full body thinker. He positions his body where he knows the other guy can't hit him. And he knows how to break the clinch using his upper body. Where here, tall guy clinches him, Cormier just leans on him one way. So the tall guy can't lean with him and has to break the clinch. Cormier has a great upper body. Let me just say, you really see it here because he's fighting a taller guy. When I do boxing videos, I talk about fighters who can bend at the waist, right? Bend at the waist and still operate, still have a construct, still be effective. Force the other guy to get low. Force the other guy to come up with punches other than body level punches. Here, you notice Cormier is just, again, full body can naturally bend at the waist. Quite frankly, MMA guys are just naturally more full body than stand-up boxers, right? So this fight is worth watching if you're an MMA fan or a boxing fan. It's a master in his craft. Understand, Cormier is now the reigning light heavyweight champion and the reigning heavyweight champion. Right? Think about that. Right? And he used his lack of height and boxing, well, MMA savvy to pull this off in spectacular fashion by KO. I want you to look at Stipe in the post fight interview. Folks, short fight, look at his face. Often after fights, you can tell how it goes just by looking at the guy's face. This guy, who was trying to be the longest reigning UFC heavyweight champion, looks battered. Just look around his eyes. Just look at the damage. Right? Masterful performance. A+. Plus. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. I know there's a John Jones crowd out there that wants to say their guy is the greatest of all time, that their guy beat Cormier, right? Let's just say the toxicology reports of that matchup are interesting. When you have two guys and one guy has been busted for PEDs, I believe that casts a doubt over his victory. Think Margarito over Cotto the first time, where I'm not saying Margarito did PEDs, but we learned in a later fight that he was cutting corners, right? At least against Shane Mosley, right? I believe John Jones, who is a great fighter, but his superiority over Daniel Cormier, let's just sh say, should be viewed with some suspicion. Anyway, that's how I see it. Let me hear from you. 
I hope you leave your comments in the comment section to this video. I've also left a link to the fight. I encourage you to take a look at it. Thanks for stopping by.